Simone Biles has made history with an incredible comeback after a two-year hiatus, cementing her GOAT status by becoming the most decorated gymnast of all time. Simone Biles just recently proved that she is indeed the most decorated gymnast of all time. Well, she did more than that since she didn't have to do anything for anyone. Her performance speaks for itself. It's greatness, basically. Still, what she did to her fellow U.S. athlete Shailise Jones is completely insane. To be fair, Simone Biles is always doing something completely out of the ordinary. In fact, last month, Simone won a record-setting eighth all-around title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, another step on a comeback trail pointing towards next year's Paris Olympics. Ten years after she first leaped to the top of her sport as a teenage prodigy, the now 26-year-old Biles posted an all-around two-day total of 118.40, four points clear of runner-up Shailise Jones. Florida junior Leanne Wong claimed third, bolstering her chances of making a third straight United States World Championship team. Biles electrified the SAP Center in San Jose, California with a soaring floor routine that included a rock-solid landing. It was her first final event of the competition and brought ecstatic fans to their feet, earning a score of 15.400. Biles' feet broke the record for most all-around titles for a man or woman, set by Alfred Joachim who won seven between 1925 and 1933 when the Amateur Athletics Union ran the championships. Biles had herself matched that record in 2021. Simone is more fit right now than she's ever been, her coach Laurent Landy told journalists after the medal ceremony, saying that Biles' floor exercise was the best of her career. What's better than that is that Simone is not only fit physically, but mentally as well. It can be noted that at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics held in 2021, Simone revealed the mental struggles that forced her to pull out halfway through the gymnastics competition. Many believe that talking about mental health struggles is often the first step to healing. That said, Simone didn't stop at letting her struggles known to the world. She did something about it. Simone Biles has also made therapy a part of her weekly routine since Tokyo 2020. I'm making a bigger effort into taking care of my mind and my body, which includes going to therapy once every week. Usually on Thursday is kind of my therapeutic day and I try to take a day for myself, Biles told Olympics.com. It's really important that I'm taking care of my mind as much as I do my body, especially in this sport and outside of the sport. It also helps that she has a great support system, a husband, an athlete as well, who completely understands her world. And so, even though Simone Biles has settled down with Jonathan Owens, she's not ready to give up her gymnastics dreams. People think if you're a wife, you can't be a professional athlete, you can't be a gymnast, you can't do whatever, Biles shared in a recent interview. And I came to the realization like, yeah, I can still be a wife and be out there. For context, Simone married Owens in May, and since then, she's made sure to balance their relationship with her athletic training. What changed for her, though, was that unlike before when she used to live at her gym, she now can't wait to go home at the end of the day to see Owens and their dogs. Owens, a professional football player she met on a dating app in 2020, compliments Simone completely. He's competitive, I'm not competitive, she admitted. Still, they belong in the same world, sports, so they understand each other more intimately than any other person can. I think we like to have a lot of fun, but we also like to relax, because at the end of the day, we both work out so much and our schedules just look so different. Biles shared, It's not as crazy as you think, like we'll be doing therapy together or go get massages together or our nails done. With her in a good place mentally, it is no wonder that it reflects on her performances. She's in a good place, both physically and mentally, and this is proof of that. You, Simone Biles is now officially the most decorated gymnast in the history of the sport, period. <laughs> the 26-year-old veteran secured her 34th medal in the World and Olympic competition when she won the all-round title at the World Gymnastics Championships. In Simone Biles closed out an incredible comeback meet after a two-year layoff by winning gold on the balance beam and floor exercises at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Belgium. Where she took home four gold medals, 
That brings her to a total of 37 medals between World Championships and the Olympics. Biles won two of those medals this weekend in the balance beam and bar events. Biles, after two years away from international competition, has seamlessly resumed her dominance with five medals in Antwerp, winning gold in the all-around team, balance beam, and floor exercise competitions in addition to silver on the vault. Biles has a record of 37 medals at the World Championships and Olympic Games. The final day of Biles' comeback meet ended with a demonstration of her supreme mental strength and competitive fire. After a long, exhaustive competition, the 26-year-old American saved her best balance beam routine for when it was most needed in the final, weaving through without a single balance check. Biles scored 14.800, edging out Zhu Yakin of China by a tenth. Biles closed out her meet by holding off Rebecca Andrade of Brazil to win her fourth gold medal on the floor exercise. Andrade, who beat Biles to gold on vault, has proven a worthy rival and their mutual admiration was clear. That's not even all. Biles made more history after becoming the first woman to land the Yurchenko double pike vault at an international competition. This means that the extremely difficult vault will be named after her. The move, the hardest vault being done in women's gymnastics right now, will now be called the Biles 2 in the gymnastics rule book. The 26-year-old has five gymnastics elements named after her across vault, floor exercise, and the balance beam. And no, that's not all for her at the World Championships. Nope. Led by Simone Biles, the U.S. women won a record seventh consecutive team title at the Gymnastics World Championships. The American team of Biles, Shailish Jones, Sky Blakely, and Leanne Wong combined for a total of 167.729 points to edge Brazil and France. The U.S. team won by a margin of 2.199 points as the final proved to be a closer contest than anticipated, after the Americans put up a dominant performance in qualifying. The U.S. women have won gold in the team event at every World Championships that included a team competition since 2011. Their victory in Antwerp broke a tie with the Chinese men for the longest streak of consecutive team titles and made Biles the most decorated female gymnast in history. And it was pretty obvious that Biles has a great relationship with her teammates. After winning the all-around event, Simone Biles was seen celebrating her victory with Jones. Biles was seen doing a little happy dance while holding Jones's hand. Shailise Jones secured her second all-around title. And And so, in her return to the sport, Biles has repeatedly talked about being more intentional in what she does, especially outside the gym. I think I'm making a bigger effort into taking care of my mind and my body, which includes going to therapy once every week. I think it's just really important that I'm taking care of my mind as much as I do my body, especially in this sport and outside of the sport, just being real active in that. Like Biles, Noah Lyles makes sure that he has a life both on and off the track, and it shows. Watch this to see for yourself. 